My name is Wendy Brower, Wendy E. Brower. My initials spell web, and that's how I see the world, totally connected and luminous. I love discovering lively places that connect us to the environment, like a farmer's market. You are deep in the canyons of a city, and suddenly there's a colorful oasis of aromas and abundance. There you can buy fresh seasonal produce, and at the same time, help small farmers in your region to thrive. There were just a few of these markets in New York City when I began thinking about all the green places that I loved. For example, I patronized libraries and green shops, I composted at the Ecology Center, and I connected with nature at community gardens, parks, and beaches. I wanted to help more people make these part places part of their everyday lives. So I decided to map them out with friends, sharing knowledge to create a common vision of home. A collaborative effort from day one, that original green map surprised people. Our fresh perspective helped more people choose higher quality, lower impact ways to shop, dine, get around, work and relax. When I started hearing from people in other cities that wanted to create their own green maps, I was really inspired. I envisioned a globally linked network of local map makers that would share a lively set of icons that would connect the green sites and the maps, regardless of language or format. Managed locally, each project would have a process and an outcome that would build knowledge, skills, and networks for much needed change. As I shared my idea about this new form of community media, I felt the window of opportunity open. Then it was 1995, and that first network, that pioneering network of green map makers, used Green Map as their first internet project. Together, we designed the iconography and adaptable framework. By year 2000, there were dozens of published green maps highlighting sustainable living, ecotourism, bicycling, and social justice campaigns. And the icons made even the smallest solar site, the newest vegan cafe, or the most secret bird watching spot bright and accessible to all. Nowadays, greenmap.org impacts 65 countries, amplifying local voices in 973 cities and towns. But when we get started, you know, maps were treasured and trusted, but they really didn't know where you were. It wasn't until 2005 that Google and OpenStreetMap cre uh, created a fun-to-use technology that suited our network and audience needs, and we launched our own social mapping platform four years later. Designed to incorporate public site suggestions, today our award-winning platform has 40,000 sites on 480 interactive green maps made all over the world. Now there are new mapping technologies that are more robust for both sophisticates and beginners, and we are sharing our icons with these other platforms to, and preparing for a fresh wave of map makers from every sector. Our print Mac archive includes over 600 unique editions. Most are full of hope and focused on progress, but many are catalyzed by urgent crisis. For example, in Indonesia, Rujak melded green map techniques to the charting of post-tsunami Banda Acha. This project was successful in bringing community memories into the rebuilding of 23 devastated villages. Delta Electronics of Taiwan green mapped more than a dozen workplace and office complexes using the process to locate problems, identify solutions, and share the savings and money, waste, water, energy, and CO2. Similarly, for 15 years, Mapa Verde Cuba has engaged community members in mapping problems on handmade maps that are the starting point for community regeneration projects. As I learned on a recent visit, today there are healthy mangrove forests, productive school gardens, and greater social cohesion across the island. From Geneva to Baltimore, Victoria to Cape Town, our locally adaptable process 
yields authentic social change that is key to resilient communities. Indeed, many in our network are going beyond and applying the takeaways from making green maps to new green projects in consulting, education, design, and media. They're turning their labors of love into livelihoods. For example, here's the Los Angeles area green map, shown without its freeways and highlighting the watershed. This map led its maker, Duvivier Architects, to become stormwater experts. Going forward, we are doing more to support the making of green sites alongside the mapping of them, and our not-for-profit is open to new partnerships and possibilities that breathe new life into, community and into hometown environments. Now, this shining jewel has been my North Star for 25 years, and its, gra its in gravity is intensifying as climate change has begun to disrupt our collective roadmap to the future. I invite you to join with me navigating this new age of uncertainty and transition together with your own community. Whether you're inspired by the path we are on, the United Nations 2030 agenda, a child you adore, or your own longing for a better world, the future cannot wait for you to connect with a web of life. Thank you. <laughs>